In this lesson, we are going to import the digital asset into the Unreal environment. So in Unreal, set up a third person um, template, Houdini Engine underscore lesson, and create that project. It's going to go off, think about it, and build up that scene. We can get rid of that text there, just delete that. So once you're in Unreal, if the Houdini Engine has been set up properly, you'll see this menu up here, and you can import and bring that in. And there we go. So we've got a digital asset here in the scene, or in the content browser. We're going to drag that over, and now the building is in the 3D view. Now it's a little small, so we can just use the standard tools here to like scale it up. So we can go like 2, 2, 2. And now it fits the scene a little bit better. If we were to let's just save that, uh, press play to go into there, we'll see the default character and moving around that building. And you see a couple issues. One is the normals aren't set up very well, and second is I can walk right through the columns. So we need to fix a couple of those entity, uh, those situations uh, before we go any further. So the first thing we're going to do is go back to Houdini. We're going to go into the network, and down here under here, we're going to go tab, normal. We're going to put that after the poly extrude. And then we're going to also do a tab group. And we're going to put another node down. And on this node, we're going to go collision, rendered, underscore collision, underscore geo. And that will re get it recognized as collision geometry. Control C. We're going to need to do that with the column two because of the way it was copied to the points. So have a, a second copy of those two nodes in there as well. Now, once you have uh, that ready, it's a matter of going asset, save asset, building. Then we can go back into Unreal, and we just need to press the rebuild button. On, make sure you have the building node selected, rebuild. You can already see the the um, normals are working. If we press save and press play, uh, we can go around. And if we come in, you'll see that now we're colliding with those columns. So the geometry is working properly now. Now escape to get out of that. We want to continue adding functionality to this asset. And one of the things a digital asset can do is you can actually have parameters. Uh, so we're going to go edit. Uh, properties, bring up the parameters uh, panel, and we're going to start bringing parameters over. So for instance, the size Y, bring that over, because that's essentially the height of each floor. So we're going to call floor height. Perfect. So that's one parameter we'll make available. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is go down to the copy node, and we're going to drag over this total numbers. And that will actually uh, be something we can call number of floors. And you could do more. You could do the size in X and the size in Y of the original grid. You know, uh, to get more columns, you can do a whole bunch of different things. But for now, this is this is this will give us enough control. If we go up one level, you can see those two controls in place. Now, because we press accept, uh, it got saved. We press rebuild. The asset doesn't look any different. But if we scroll down here, you can see yes, we have floor height and number of floors. So we can actually type in, for instance, one point two. So now a level designer here in Unreal can use these procedural assets to get exactly the look they want. So I only need a two-story building and with a little little taller. And there you go. It's right there in the game ready to be included. Of course, there are still more elements that you might want to add to it, but it's a it's a good uh, good place to start for sure. So if we go back here to Houdini, we can do some other things. Like one of the things is it'd be nice to walk up the building. So if we go back to the original slab, let's add in a ramp. So we're going to select, press the select tool, select three polygons with a shift key on the top and three at the bottom, and press the delete key to get rid of them. We're going to scroll around. We're going to press three to get uh, edge selection. Double click that loop and go tab poly bridge. And then go double click on the top and press enter. And that bridges between the two. Now we did that a little higher on the chain so that later when we Apollo extrude, um, we'd actually get the over, over um, overlap there as well. 
Now we go down to match size 2, and this is where the slab is raised. And what we want to do is we want to create uh, the ramp. So we're going to first bring the columns back just for reference. Select this node, and we're going to select that face right at the edge there. And we're going to go tab poly extrude. Now we're not going to use distance. We're going to use transform extruded front. We're going to bring that out to here and down to there. Now we want this distance to be appropriate, so again we're going to go back to the column and we're going to copy that parameter and we're going to use that parameter to drive um, the extrusion along Y. So we're going to go double click there, paste relative references, and we're going to go minus and minus 0.1 and that puts it exactly where we need it. So it's sitting just under the ground. And this can just be 2.7 because we're not doing anything procedural in that direction. Now, so once we have that, we can come back. Um, and actually, we're going to take the group and the normal. And we're going to wiggle that out because we want that to affect the ramp as well. So it's important to maybe put that underneath the poly extrude. That's a better place for it. That way, the ramp for sure will also be a collision geometry. Um, set the output, uh, and you can see now every floor has a ramp, and they're all sort of connected to the slabs in an appropriate way. So if we save the asset again, uh, we can now go back to Unreal and rebuild, and you'll see there are now ramps on all the floors in the building. Um, and in fact, we can um, maybe go back to a floor height of 1 and maybe take this back up to, we'll go up to 6 this time. And once we have that, uh, then it's just a matter of save and press play. And now we can walk up onto the other levels of our building because of the procedural ramp that we just created. Ceiling height's a little tight, but should work for now. Now another thing we might want to do is add some uh, materials to this, but you can't add materials to a piece of geometry unless it's got UVs. So what we want to do is add UVs uh, into the different parts of here. So we're going to, right above underneath the column, we're going to go tab UV unwrap. And you'll put that on and once you wiggle that in, you'll see we're getting UV a UV grid on the columns. And if we do the same thing down here, just before the, um, the match size, we're getting that on there. Now, it's not the same size. We're going to go UV transform, put that, wiggle that in there, and we can just go uh, scale 555. Five, five. And now they look more or less the same. So the scale's in, in good shape. Now we, again, as usual, go save the asset. And if we go back to Unreal, uh, we can rebuild that. Now there, are, there is not a material on there yet, uh, but we can just tumble around. And if we look in the starter content um, that comes with the third party, you can go Materials and maybe scroll down to Concrete Tiles. Now I'm going to drag it onto the slab. And then just for, I'm going to uh, drag it also onto the columns. I think it works best if you drag it over both. And let's just save our work and press play. And there we go. You see we've now got actually material qualities uh, on that as well. So there's a concrete that we've been able to bring that material and add it into the building. So as you can see, at any step, you can go in and make adjustments, add details, add parameters, and you can sort of have a back and forth between what you're doing in Houdini and what you're doing in Unreal and just make sure all of that's working properly. There we can see the slab working there.